Hello everybody, my name's Walker Magic and welcome to Stories Untold. Uh, so I, I don't know anything about this game. Um, I'm sure it's been played before, but eh, I found it free on the Epic Store a while ago. Downloaded it, never played it, so here we are. It's obviously a four-part session, game, whatever, four episodes. Which will work fine. Um, let me free up some space on my right there. There we go. Okay. The house abandoned. Ma, ma, ah! Yeah, I'm going to stop that now because that was terrifying. Press escape at any time to pause the game. What have we got going on? Err. This is so pretty. Why are the function keys on the left? That's peculiar. And this is incredibly loud. I really probably should have turned the volume down. Stories untold. There we are. That's my input to that intro. Um, can I turn the volume down somewhere? That was really painful. Uh, yeah. Um. Apparently not. Okay, we're stuck with this. The house abandoned. <laughs> Oh, this is one of the old timely ones where it was on a um, fucking cassette, wasn't it? Does this mean it's just a text-based game? Alright. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's an idyllic... Uh, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Uh, so do I have to type everything? Ah, oh, <laughs> this is so cool. The glove box is closed, but appears to be unlocked. Open? I don't know what you are trying to use. Alright. Open glove box. Inside is a key, and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Look at note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you're enjoying your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Okay. Um, so... Can I... Let me skip this! Alright. Get out of car. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the house stretches around the side of the house. Okay, go around side. You take a walk around the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here when you were with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Uh, look around? You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Use generator. You switch the generator on and it works to life. The house is still dark. Um, okay, uh, go back to front of house. You walk back around to the front of the house. Oh no, my enter key keeps popping out on this keyboard. Oops. Um, go to front door. No. Nope. Go to front door. Um, go to house. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use the key. Use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. 
open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark, and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Uh, use light switch. You flick the switch, and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Alright, let's go to the living room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. R-O-U-N-D. Look around. There is nothing of interest here. Alright. Okay, go to hallway. You go back out to the hallway. The hallway is now brightly lit. Alright. Oh, I have to wait for this. Uh, go to kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room. Oh, God, excuse me. <laughs> there is a door to the utility room. But otherwise, it's just a kitchen. Nothing of interest. It's very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. All right, go to utility room. The utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Um... Check drawers. Alright. Um, go to hallway. So, I guess I just go upstairs now. Um, use stairs. Go upstairs? You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Go to the bathroom. You step inside the bathroom. You are in the bathroom. There's not much to note, but it's all in good order. The bathroom is clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. Um, is it one of these? No? Alright. Go to landing. You step back onto the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Go to sister's room. You walk into your sister's old room. Alright, I don't know why it just freaked then. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched, since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crowned full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colourful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Oh, um... Okay. R-O-U-N-D... There's also a large, large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door slightly ajar. Open wardrobe. Is there going to be a lion and a witch in here? It is empty. Apart from a pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Look at photographs. This is so cool. I'm loving this. They are all identical. A forest road at night. You put them back. Alright. You step back onto the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom, two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Alright. Go to my bedroom. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. Uh, is there anything else in here? It's a standard bedroom, a desk, a wood-grained TV, the usual. All right, um, open box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. 
Dad has found your old computer. A Fotoro 182K plus 2. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Um, oh shit. Isn't that what I'm using right now? Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. Um, yeah, and a copy of House Abandoned. It's all... Uh, it's all still to be set up there. Okay. Set up. Futuro. Um, plug in Futuro. Uh, okay. Yeah, so plug in computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a single game here too. Insert game. Play game. You put the cassette into the computer and press play. Oh! Oh, Jesus. Oh, I was not expecting that. Oh. Shit just got real. And everything seems to be broken. Oh, it's an interactive horror experience. <laughs> I didn't notice that the first time round. Okay. Uh, you pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this pace. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. It's all going to be pretty much the same. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, Get out, 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 get out. All right, something does not want me here. Okay. This is great. Exactly what I want to be doing in the dark. Um. Can I just leave? Oh, okay, no, I can't. All right. I forced the warped door open. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind. And all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Uh, go around side. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown. The weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a place place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Uh, is the generator still here? There is an old generator next to you. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, now this is freaky. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Oh, does this mean it's happening in real time while I'm typing this shit? Um, go back. You go back to the front of the house. Uh, okay. Go to house. The door appears to be locked. You will need a key. Use the key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Open door. Oh, God, no. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hand, and you feel compelled to read it over and over. Read note. But it feels weird to the touch. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The light flickers on and off. The walls are falling apart. After years of neglect, or worse. Ooh! Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blurring. Someone else is in the house? This can't be. That can't be. God, it reads, um, stop. 
Somehow, the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent and stairs leading upstairs. The note feels disgusting in your hands. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. Ugh. All right. Go to the living room. You enter the living room. The living room, although hardly had an appropriate term, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is th threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. The note, always changing, now reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Spooky. Oh, this is actually sending shivers down my spine. This is so well done. Oh, shit. Look at the, um, the pictures. They've got lines across their face now. Um, look around. Run down and empty. Abandoned and for good reason. You return to the hallway. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. La 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 la. Go to kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. God, I am, I am getting goosebumps. This is horrifying. There seems to be writing on the wall and what looks like blood. Look at writing. Oh, oh no. Uh, in blood, the number 1986 is smeared across. Holy shit. It's appeared there now. Oh, that is legit. That is so cool. Um, all right. Look at table. Look at carcass. You look closer, but can't tell what it is or what it is. Or what it was. That makes more sense. Pick up carcass. All right. Um, go to utility room. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Can I look for key? It's the house key, but it feels wrong. Damn it. It was worth a try. You step back into the hallway. Your shoes are wet. Why are my shoes wet? When did this happen? This is horrifying. Um. You head up the stairs. They creak. Ah. Uh, that is horrifying. Same, but different. Oh! Ah! Oh. Behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and tastes iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be here. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Relief. Oh. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> oh, it hurts every time something happens. It's just... Boom. And it's there. Boom. Something else. Ah. Oh, it is sending shivers down my spine. Um, same, but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room, your room, 
and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have all been scored out. Interesting. A bit like the ones on my desk, then. Alright. Um, let's go to the bathroom. You enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. It's disgusting. Grime and dead bugs. The taps won't budge. Um... Put hand. No, nope. I want search. Search sink. No. Put hand in sink. Okay, I'll just leave then. I step back out into the landing. What do I need the 1986 for? Come on! Go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Uh, remove B... Oh. Remove B-O-A-R-D-S. Um, alright. Open sister's room? Alright. I guess something's happened to Jennifer then. If her room's boarded up. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Um, use code 1986. I don't know what you were trying to use. Um, use combination lock. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. Um, can I look at note? The note is reacting. Get in the door, get in the room, get in, do it, go. Ooh. God, this is just horrifying. 1986. Oh, that is to my right, and it's coming through the right earbud as well. Or the ear cup. Okay, um, go to my room. The door is closed. Open door. Oh, oh no. Go in. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly, f utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. Oh, God, no. Oh, you can hear the breathing. That is not pleasant. Um, the walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but you still punish me. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do and com consumed and confused. This has to end now. Um, what do I want to do? Look at person. Rocking back and forth, consumed by guilt. Read note. The note is reacting. Okay. Um... There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. Leave? This is... Um, <coughs> am I really about to type this? You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. I 
I don't believe you. Like you mean it. Please. F-A-U-L-T. It was all my fault. Say it. I literally did. It. Just say it. I'm saying it. All right. It was all my fault. Are you listening to my microphone? I hope not. Oh God, the, the breathing's now to the left of me. Oh, ah, no, no, don't do that. Oh, geez. God, that got me fucking pump my heart racing. That was so well made. Like, unbelievably well made. Like, all, just all the subtleties to it. Oh, there is an options menu. Oh, never mind then. Just everything was so well made. Like, the subtle noise positionings and... The little clicks, the changing in the background of the wall. That was just fantastic. And I've got three more episodes to go. I am so looking forward to this. But I'm going to do an episode, an, ep an episode, an episode. <laughs> or an episode of video, either way works. So, I hope you enjoyed. I really did, because this was fantastic. I, I, I've never really... I never really played any... Um, text-based games when I was younger. Uh, never really had any in the house. Like, my first actual console that, or the first game system that I played on was the PlayStation 1. Um, God, that was a good console. But I never actually played any text-based games, so getting a experience of that here just... And the fact it was also a horror game as well just sort of went it was mind blowing it was a fantastic experience and just so well made it wasn't a jump scary one which was nice it was subtle horror that hit you in the face like there was it wasn't a monster just appearing out the corner of your eye or just appearing around a corner it was subtly placed or at least this is what I feel it was subtly placed incredibly well and I am looking forward to the rest of this but in the meantime thank you all so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and as always I'll see you in the next video bye bye